Hello and welcome to my first Let's Play. Uh, we will be playing Ratchet and Clank, the original on the PS2, made by Insomniac. Now, I will admit that I had recently played this using the emulator, PCSX. I uh, played about half of the game and I didn't like the performance, so... I went, and I've always wanted to be able to uh, stream my retro consoles, but I just have not uh, had the capability. Um, so I saw a product called Retro Tink, which I think is somewhat recently. Last time I was looking for um, scalers, there was uh, it was like a choice between the Frame Meister, which is extremely expensive, or the OSSX, I believe, OSSC, sorry, um, and well, I think the OSSC is probably a better product. The Retro Tink seems pretty simple and I think would just fit my needs more. Also, it uh, ships from the US, and whereas the OSSC I think ships from the UK, which currently in COVID situation is uh, kind of shut down. So I went with the Retro Tink. And so this is actually my first recording using it. Um, it seems okay. It's not amazing or anything, but uh, it's a two-time scaler. It's the uh, Retro Tink 2X Pro. And it seems pretty decent. I mean, just just for recording footage from an actual console and not having to rely on emulators. And for the PS2, uh, the emulator is nice because you get the higher resolution. But I have found that there's a lot of problems with games, and you you, you oftentimes have to kind of customize your setting per game. And it gets kind of annoying, and uh, I just kind of I just want to pop my game in and play it. So while I don't get the high fidelity of the increased resolution, we do have. Um, we're gonna, you know, encounter the most pure way of playing the game by playing it straight off the console. So let's get right into it. And so I haven't even made a save file here. So let's go ahead and create a save file. Now, growing up, I had never actually owned Ratchet and Clank. I was more of a Jack and Daxter kind of guy. So, I never really played these games. In fact, the first time I played one was the... Um, we're about to get a cutscene here. I'll talk about that in a minute. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. I love the way Clank looks. Um, 
Uh, one thing I definitely gotta change Welcome here. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Like I was saying, one thing you gotta, I gotta change personally is the uh, camera. Um, I need it reversed or inverted. Also, I do fast. One thing that does suck about this game is the camera is kind of crappy. Let me make sure this is right. Okay, it feels good. Alright, so like I was saying, my first Ratchet and Clank was actually the sort of reimagining of this game on the PS4. And I honestly don't remember much of it. Like, I do remember, like, well, I'm, as I'm playing this game, uh, some of the environments seem familiar, but... Uh, I think the PS4 game is actually quite a lot different than what this game is. In fact, I feel like this game is meatier in a way. Like, there's just more to it, I feel like. But again, I haven't played the PS4 version in a while. I can't quite remember everything. Maybe I'll revisit it in a future Let's Play. So we get that opening cutscene here. And I think that opening cutscene is a little weird, the way it's paced. It cuts between, like, text and, like, an action sequence. But it just is one big cutscene. Oh, it's just kind of weird to me. Hey, it's just killing enemies and gathering bolts. Bolts of this game's currency. You use it to buy guns and, uh, ammunition. And the, the crates really remind me of Crash Bandicoot. You can interrupt help desk messages by pressing the triangle button. To disable help desk messages, please select options from your pause menu. We'll keep it on for now. I might forget. I might have forgotten some things. Now we can do this. Which I've literally used like once, which I think is coming up in the tutorial. So if I go a little fast, it's probably because I'm trying to get back to the part where I quit. In fact, I thought that tutorial was going to tell me to throw it, throw it right there. These crates right here help. That's nanotech. Another new system usually. Let Gadgetron's patented nanotech system rebuild your body. Okay, we got it. Help. Oh. Uh, there's two ways to go. This game does this a lot. There's there's often two ways to go, and there's, there's actually a map, which kind of helps. As you can see here, the uh, this way is just kind of a dead end. So. And I gotta say, this game is gorgeous. It really stands up. What uh, stylized kind of cartooning graphics do? Like if you play this game with the uh, on an emulator with the uh, high res, it looks it looks really good. It kind of lacks the effects and such that a uh, that you'd get with a newer game, but these little electric guys look like they just shoot in one direction. But these uh. G crates are just ammo. It seems like it's kind of random. Do I have a gun? I forgot how that. Change weapons. Oh, there we go. Grenade's actually pretty good, although it's kind of annoying to. You can go in first person mode and aim weapons as well. The aiming in this game is kind of not my favorite. To use your bomb glove, press the circle button to equip it, and the circle button again to fire. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. I keep preempting the uh, tutorials here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, they ran away. This game is actually surprisingly difficult. It's kind of weird because I was reading reviews from the time this came out. And... Whoa, they follow you. So, well. so this attack actually seems to be equal to two of these little attacks. So if you see me doing this, it's because of more damage. Uh oh, cutscene! Clink! Interesting. <laughs> You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. <gasps> Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! 
He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. So these are the. I got uh, some great bargains for you today. Where you can buy ammo Ooh, and that's a nice new one. weapons. Of course, I don't have 2,500 bullets. So here's what I mean immediately the game gives you multiple ways you can go. In fact, there's three different directions I can go in. I can go up this lake, I can go down in this elevator, or I can go in this cave. Kind of overwhelming at first. Um, I don't even remember what the best way to go is. We'll go this way. Mushrooms with bolts. Does that make any sense? Mushrooms giving bolts. Oh, can't break these. Digimon. It's so random which which ones you can break. What about these? We can break this though. Back at the entrance. So, we'll go this way next, maybe.
Und oh Scheiße. Flamethrower now. Oh. We are maxed out on bomb arrows. Oh. It. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's got pl back. All right, why? He's wearing yeah. overalls. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. We shall buy the infobot for 500 bolts. The low, low price. Geronimo! He was out of there before I could even rethink it. Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? <laughs> I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. The name never fails and made me laugh. To enter look around mode, press and hold the L1 button. Skid McMarks. For some reason I need to look around. I guess maybe they think I want to look out the window. Ooh, look at all the landscape. Kind of reminds me of the castle in Mario. Not really. Follow plumber butt. That's a fun slip and slide. Let's see, do we still have enough for the, uh, yep, there, the flamethrower? Let's 
Skid McMartin's. Coming to a town near you. Oh, cool, you can break the break from the enemy. I don't think I've ever done that. A flying Digimon. Ah! They actually kind of remind me of those, uh... What do you call those little metal things from Ninja Turtles? That's what they remind me of. Um, let's do bombs. What's all that noise? What the hell? Oh god, I wasn't even looking. Game, there's some bolts that are hidden around called golden bolts. And I didn't get far enough in the game, but I think you can use them to buy like upgrades to your weapon. Not real sure. Game up here. Thing in the ground we just found. It's actually something later on you get that makes use of those. Back here. Grenade. Check it out. I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to jump back up. Hmm. Go well, under the bridge. Whoops. No, for no fault. No, for no fault. easier to change weapons on an actual PS2 controller. I was using a PS4 controller wirelessly, but I don't... Of course you have to calibrate it with your emulator, I don't know. That's not be calibrated exactly. I had a really tough time getting the diagonals. Weapons on the diagonals. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. 
What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? That's a good question. What am I? Anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. That's Captain Quark. Has this ever happened to you? All the time. Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to <laughs> Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. <laughs> Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Damn, that sounds like the place to be. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Dang, he arranged right. that fast. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the select button to bring up the map. Your ship is marked with a star. Oh. I press start. Oh, I just press R3. Are you even a gold bolt on this planet? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Ammo actually gets kind of scarce later on. I found myself having to buy it. To our new ship. For some reason, they let you watch this. I'll let you watch it for once. But it's such a long animation, it's like, why? We only have two locations we can go to? Um, where do we want to go first? So, you can go here. Oh, there's three bolts on this planet. <laughs> Okay. Well. Um. I don't know. Let's go here. I think that's what I did on my first playthrough. What's kind of cool about this game is a little bit non-linear. Definitely linear. I get some choices every now and then. Planet Kerwan. It looks kind of icy or something. It definitely doesn't look icy. Or rocky. It looks tropical. It looks kind of like the planet we just came from. Blaster I got is some now great there. Can't afford it yet. So these question marks are kind of just like things to discover. So we'll just, I think you go this way, you get some equipment. These red boxes are explosions, so if you, ah, if you touch them, they'll blow up. 
I don't want to melee them because they'll just do damage to us. And there's just crates hidden everywhere. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. You'd think a robot would be able to tell that there's another robot. I guess not for Clank. Double jump feels weird in this game. Like, it doesn't really... It just makes you kind of stay in the air longer, but it doesn't really... Like, you don't gain height. Pretty sure there's a tutorial for wall jumping right there, but it didn't happen. I didn't cut him off, did I? Nikes, Jinkies. Whoa. These moving walls also function as jump slots. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in midair until you reach the <gasps> Whoa, 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 whoa! What the heck? I go all the way back. fall down this time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, don't fall off, don't fall off. I'm trying to do this with a cat in my lap too. Making me hold the controller in a weird way. Your health, like, would you take damage there? Listen up, you lard balls. That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on I'm a lard ball. Course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it is weak, weak, weak. When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot. So you can sway to and fro like little insects. 
All right, let's see. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Lady. I guess we'll buy it. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. <laughs> what the hell's that? <laughs> Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard versa targets like the ones you have. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to aim. How do I use it? Circle. Had to spend two there, or one thousand. We do not have enough money to quickly center the camera. Oh. Just tap the L1 button. Shoot, he puts, he puts mines down. His mines are still there. He blow them up. God. Who are these guys? That's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. 
So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw Nerd. your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Man, everybody wants okay, to get paid in this, this game. Won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. <laughs> Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. You're welcome. I pay you a thousand, and you want a you're welcome. Try using the helipad squeeze jump feature to climb these boxes. Press About. the R1 button to crouch, then jump. You're welcome. With a thousand G's. You'll need your new helipad stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. Whee! Need some HPs. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump and then press and hold the X button in mid-air to glide. I was hoping to hit him before. Oh, it takes me back here. All right. Not too far away. Thing is, you do not get your ammo back. like infinitely spawn bolts. the escalator. I 
think I found this on my last run. Ugh. Anybody else's PS2 joysticks get sticky? You don't use them for a while? They just randomly just get sticky. Chugga 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 choo choo. The long cutscene for a train. These annoying ass guys. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking. Hang on, I saw some, some crates. Watch over there. Yeah. 
Where did this go? I wanna go over here real quick. I remember that ledge we couldn't get to? Maybe we can get to it. Crates, a few measly crates. Like on the map, kind of just like as you discover parts of the map, it turns it gold. I don't know where you've been. I haven't watched a speedrun of this game, but I assume getting around fast is a lot of this. Not bad. Think we buy our blaster now. Oh. Hi there, fuzzball. Well, on to the next planet. This is probably where I'm going to cut it off. I think we'll go to Iridia next. So... I'll go ahead and land. So, I'm gonna cut it here and stay tuned. Next time, we'll discover the planet Iridia and keep going on. Maybe we'll find Captain Quark. Anyway, stay tuned.